Hi, this is Dorothy with That Scrapbooking, and I am going to um, go through our new Silver Bells Scrapbooking Workshop. So our workshops, these scrapbooking workshops that are featured in all of our seasonal catalogs, are all ready to go. You get your instructions, you get a sticker sheet, you get a package of some kind of embellishment and uh, some photo placeholders. But look at this. It's silver and gold and just absolutely beautiful. Look at the how shiny. We've got borders in silver and gold. And then here are the papers. So you get papers that are all coordinated. So here's front and back, if they cooperate. There we go. And there's one side and then the other. So you have kind of a featured paper, which is what this would be. And then you have papers that coordinate with the featured paper to bring out the colors. And then the fun thing about the workshops is you get a bunch of die cuts to go with it. So here we've got titles and uh, various embellishments. Um, and here's another sheet of die cuts. So this has got, look at this gorgeous edge. Let me just pull this out so you can see how, how beautiful this edge is. Isn't that lovely? Okay, and then you also get cardstock that goes with the papers, but you also get some exclusive paper. So you can tell that this is exclusive because the back of the paper is white. So that just tells you, because all of our papers are two-sided. So this just tells you that these are exclusive papers that you can only get with this scrapbooking kit. So here are four pages of scrap of um, exclusive papers, and then we've got cardstock that coordinates. So on the back of the zip strip, so let me just show you. Here's a zip strip. So I'll cut that off. Um, and it can get used. So you've got your featured colors, which are charcoal, linen, mink, toffee. This is mink, this is toffee, and white daisy. And so there's charcoal. There's our white daisy. So those are all the colors that coordinate with this kit. So you get all of the paper and embellishments and stickers and die cuts that you need. And you get our wonderful instructions. So the other thing that these tell you, so you get um, optional feature technique, embellishing with glitter glue and liquid pearls. And down here, now that's not, that's an optional thing. So it says optional feature technique. Um, so the materials that you need are the kit, of course, and then the other materials are, here's platinum stickles and rose gold liquid pearls. These are optional. They just add a little bit more glitz and glam to your uh, kit. You don't have to, if you don't have them, you don't have to use them. Um, you could probably do some substituting. Um, and then it says you need the uh, black Le Pen for journaling and then uh, 3D foam adhesive and foam tape and a trimmer, scissors, adhesive, and ruler. And then we go on and tell you about exactly how to cut everything, what orientation to put your paper in when you're cutting it. And then you get detailed instructions on how to put each of the kits together. So I am off camera, I am going to go ahead and cut all the pieces and put them in piles. And then I will do one layout at a time. So um, you can kind of see 
uh, easily how to put these pages, these three layouts together. And I am going to stick by. I'm not going to go rogue. So you can see exactly what they're supposed to look like. Now, if you want to go rogue, you can go rogue and I will take my scraps and go totally rogue. So um, anyway, that's I wanted to give you an introduction to the kit. So I'm going to go start cutting and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I've made all of my cuts. So what I'm going to do right now um, is do a, a kind of a dry fit. So I'm going to pop out all of the die cuts that go with project one. I'm just going to do a video of each project so the video doesn't get crazy long. So if you flip over your die cut sheets, on the back side it will have project one, project two, and project three. And so you can, instead of having lots and lots of pieces that you need to kind of put away so you don't get them confused, you can just pull out the ones for your the project that you're working on. So I'm pulling out all of my project ones here. And there's a whole bunch of those kind of stars. Um, so I'm just kind of going through and getting each of the little pieces. Lots of little pieces. Journaling strips. All sorts of stuff. And uh, I'm just kind of going through and pointing and saying Project 1, Project 2. So I don't miss um, uh, and leave one in there that I, you know, will be looking for later on. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting older. I don't know. But it's it. I can miss things. So that helps me to not miss things. So we're going to use this exclusive paper as the background that came in the kit. And it looks like it's got like little snowflakes on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the pieces to kind of put with page one and page two of project one. So there's the silver bells. And I'm just kind of, so when you go through and do this dry fit, you're kind of giving your brain an idea of, okay, that that doesn't get butted up against that piece along the border. It goes on top of it. So you're kind of, um, teaching your brain a little bit what to anticipate. And then it forces you to look at the instructions closely because there's a sticker border that goes in between that real pretty edge on the left-hand side, um, kind of a bracket cut. And then we've got the kind of scallopy papers that we cut from the regular silver Bell's um, paper packet. And you notice that the little loops, they coordinate with the loops in the Silver Bell's paper. They both have like garlands that are hanging down. So you want to make sure that you've got your garlands pointed in the right direction. So this is one layout that doesn't have any photo mats that go around the pictures or go under with, you know, a, a showing around. Um, and so I am more inclined definitely to use my photo placeholders to know where the pictures go. So if you've got the mats, if there's mat that, mats that go with it, they kind of tell you where the pictures go, right? So this is, you know, giving yourself a little help of put the picture here and put the picture there. And so I'm just kind of placing each of the little stars and the die cuts where they belong. And, you know, there's enough um, busyness on the Silver Bells paper that you it's easy to miss pieces that are laying there. And uh, so if you have, if you've already pulled out all your pieces and you have them there, if something's not getting used then you can see that that goes someplace and you, you miss something when you were looking at the, the picture, the instruction picture. So just, just kind of a means to kind of keep things somewhat under control. Okay, so I'm flipping over to page two. 
and the big star, trying to figure out where the big star goes. And that's when I find that it kind of goes over there on page one. So the borders, there are borders that go on here, the silver borders. And what you can do, um, which they kind of show, is run the border the full length. But, you know, if you're covering up a piece, there's a piece of border that's, you know, not being shown. And so my inclination is to, I'm using my layout mat here to help me um, kind of figure out just exactly where all the pieces go to kind of eyeball and measure. Oop. So this goes right down to the very bottom and right on the very edge of that exclusive paper. And then there is where this beautiful, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous silver. I love these silver and gold uh, shiny pieces that are going on here. So, you know, you can use the whole border here. Then you don't have to cut or measure anything. But there's a whole piece that's getting covered up. And that could be used for either, you know, your leftover papers um, to make another layout or for some cards. So I'm just going to go ahead. See, I told you I wasn't going to go rogue, but I'm going a little bit rogue. So this way I get to save myself a big chunk of piece, and then I'll put it back onto the carrier sheet so it doesn't get lost. And look at that whole big piece that I get to use. I mean, that's definitely, you know, could be used for a card or another layout. Okay, so you want to make sure that you've got your bells pointing down. I know this sounds silly, but you'll see on page two why I said that. Okay, so I'm putting this down here, and uh, it goes right to the very edge again and one inch up from the bottom. So that's how the mat comes in real handy. And what I start to do is put a little bit of... of um, my adhesive down on the mat to hold the paper because the paper has a tenden tendency to shift to kind of hold the paper still. So see, I've got the scallops on the kind of garlands or whatever you want to call them going downward, just like the very faint scallops on the silver bells paper. So you want to make sure that that is, you know, going in the same direction. Now this is the gold how pretty that is. This is the gold border. And I am doing, um, just trying to see if the whole gold piece has to get used. And it kind of does show up. So I'm putting that two inch piece back on the carrier sheet. And then here we've got, I love this edge. Is that not beautiful? Okay, so you want the, of course, the edge to go on the outside, the fancy edge. And this is getting snugged up right next to your gold border. Now, isn't it funny how, I mean, so I'm older, and uh, we never mixed metals. I mean, if you were wearing silver, you wore all silver. If you wore gold, you wore gold. You didn't dare mix silver and gold. And all of those silly um box inducing rules are kind of gone so we're using silver and gold and you could probably add in copper in there too and just you know it's shiny so it's pretty look at isn't that a beautiful sheet oh gosh god i love to make it shine in the light it's just too pretty for words so um i'm just kind of looking at the pieces now this little believe they have it in the center of that pretty little gold wreath. And that is going to go right there. So there's all these, there's a lot of detail showing on this, on these uh, layouts, but especially this one. You know, that silver bells paper just really uh, gives a lot of, you know, is, it talks a lot to you, for sure. 
So I'm going to pop up that sticker. You don't have to. You totally don't have to. But I'm going to put this one down flat. And it kind of goes underneath that little gold wreath. So there we go, just like right in there. And then we've got that big star that I couldn't find where it went. Well, it goes right in here. And that is going to go underneath the title. That is a cutout sticker. So it's not like you have to go and pull out your Cricut and make a title. Although if you wanted to put a different title, you totally could. But, you know, we've got the titles all ready to go on the sticker sheet. So it's just, they've made it very, very simple. So we're using the 4x4 four four photo placeholders here. So this kind of gives you, you know, I definitely wanted to put these down because you're going to do various placements of things according to, you know, like your journaling and your title. You want to do it according to where the picture um, goes. So um, I am putting my Four by four is down. I'm trying to see what the measurements are. And this is where I put it, just a little bit of a spot right there in the corners to kind of keep my paper still and line it up real good. Okay, so then I can use eyeball the measurements a little bit better. So it's going up one and three fourths from the bottom. And this gets this gets about a quarter or a half an inch. Five eighths of an inch. Hard to see. Let's see. I'm gonna pull out my ruler and just do a double check on the on the measurements. going to be like five-eighths of an inch over from the right-hand edge and about two inches down. No, it's about an inch and three-fourths down. And then we've got our third picture that's getting a quarter of an inch over and it gets going to get tucked under that bit of that star. Whoop. And I'm going three, it looks like three and a half, and I line up my ruler with the measurements on both sides so you make sure that you're getting it straight. You definitely want to get your, your pictures straight. Sometimes they're, they're askew, and that's, that's good. Then you don't have to do a whole lot of measuring. But um, when they're straight, you definitely want to get them straight because then they'll just look wonky instead of askew. So I'm popping up a little star here. The big star is flat. And we've got, the title is going to go over it. And I'm going to use, these are the um, optional platinum stickles. And I'm going to go ahead and put some little dots down on the center of the stars. Now, um, mind you, Stickles take a long time to dry, surprisingly long. Now you can add a heater to them and help them along some, but uh, if you wait, don't wait long enough, then the stickles just smear. So you want to be really careful um, when you're using the stickles to make sure that they're dry. And when they're dry, they uh, flatten out considerably. So there we've got a center on our stars. And what I did was I let that sit for a long time. <laughs> and then I came back because I had just made something um, a couple of days ago and completely smeared my stickles. I mean, got it all over the place because I thought they were dry. And they weren't. And they had been drying for a long time. But it is humid here right now, and that may make 
make a difference. I mean, it shouldn't in the house, but I think it does. So there's my title. And I'm popping out all the extra pieces that pop out. And it says the best time of the year. Well, one thing that makes it best time of the year is it's not blooming 115 outside. That's for darn sure. And if you live in Texas, you appreciate that. <laughs> so I kind of lay it down and they think, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to pop it up. So off it comes. And this is the story of my life with scrapbooking and card making. As I put it down and I pull it up. So I'm trying to do better, but, you know, you can only do so much. So I'm popping it up along the long pieces, and I'm using the quarter-inch uh, foam tape so it can kind of fit like where there's a line of text. So there we go. Now we've got a totally sticky title with ultra stick on it because you can't have too much stick them. Okay, so best time of the year. And look at all that detail in that corner. So that's that I love that they make these good size groupings um, to add interest to the title and to, you know, the detail. You don't necessarily have to, you know, concentrate on all the detail, but it really makes that title stick out. And now we're going to use these um, different size. You've got three different size embellishment dots here, tiny and medium and large. And uh, you're, I'm kind of sort of guessing that what goes where. You can't really tell between a stickles dot and, a, and an embellishment dot. And the white one that comes in this group, so it's, kind, it's a dark gold and a silver and a white. The white one's are gorgeous. I mean, if they just had a package of the white, I'd be buying several packages. They are beautiful. Um, so anyway, then we've got these little tiny stars that are from the sticker sheet. And so put those around, or I think one or two of them. And that one gets set aside. And now we go on to, I hid my second sheet, page two underneath my layout. And we start again. So this is starting from the left. So the first one started from the right side and worked over. This starts from the left side and works to the right side. So once again, we're covering up the taken it from top to bottom right to the absolute edge of the piece. And I'm going to take my piece of silver that's left over and I'm just going to use maybe three inches total of it. So like an inch and a half down at the bottom. You may want to check the first one and see which way you pointed it and point it in the same direction. Because there's like little berries in there that either are up, up or down. So you kind of have to kind of try to figure out which, which way, which way does it go? So yeah, definitely want them going in the same direction. Okay, so we, now we still have another piece that could go for a whole card. So we, and we, and then we have a whole piece of uh, the silver. So we've actually only used, instead of using two full silver borders, we just used um, about half of one. So we have a whole silver border and a half to use for whatever. So super cool. And I'm out of runner tape again. I think the new tape that I'm using is Ad Tech, and it's because I couldn't get Tombow in bulk anymore. And so the Ad Tech is, it's kind of working real well for me, to tell you the truth. Okay, so notice how I have the bells upside down. Okay, so you want to pay attention to what you're doing. 
And then I come to this and I'm going, oh. See, I wanted to make sure that my, my uh, little garland scallops were going in the right direction and realized that the giant silver bells were going in the wrong direction. Holy moly. <laughs> what can I say? Sad. Okay, here we go. One inch up from the bottom. And the bells head in the downward direction. That's important. <laughs> and then put your, your scallop garlands going with the loop facing down. Okay, then here's my real pretty edge. And I don't want to put it there because I've got the gold one that needs to go there first, Dorothy. You knew that. So we have the gold. I'm trying, and I'm looking to see how much of the gold is actually going to show. So I'm putting it down, and I think that I don't cut it off except for the last two inches. So you're, if you're cutting your garland on your um, paper trimmer, it's ten, a 10 inch piece. And now I put my, my final edge down. See, it looks like brackets in and out on that. I really like it. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces facing in the right direction. Bravo. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out which which size goes where. And so I'm going to use, I think, a 4x4 four four and maybe a 3x4 three and a 3x3, three three, I think. And first thing I'm doing is putting those down so that the rest of the pieces uh, can go according to where the, you know, that I don't mess around with the pictures. And I'm going like three eighths of an inch over and three inches up. And just making sure I'm doing it evenly. And then the three by three, I think it gets lined up with the top of the four by four. And you can put it right to the edge of the gold border too. So you you're, you're uh, don't have to measure anything. And there we go. We've got our three by four and it gets like a quarter of an inch. And just making sure I'm putting it on straight with a quarter of an inch going in between. So there's all, all of our pictures are now in order and then we can just add all of our embellishments to the page. So this cute little tag and it's got 225 on it, so a little Christmas tag. Um, you know, if you're not using this for Christmas, you don't have to put it with the 225 facing up. You can, you know, flip it over and just have a blank piece to put whatever date you want on it. And then I'm using, this is why I needed to have the photo placeholders in, so I could line up my journaling strips next to the picture and I realized that I pulled out, somehow I pulled out a project two, two project two. So now I've got my project one. doesn't really, they're the same journaling uh, lengths, journaling pieces. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I've got my twos. I don't know how the twos ended up over there. Uh, that's why I want to say them out loud when I'm taking them off the, the sheet. And this beautiful gold background um, that says uh, Christmas traditions try, or family traditions. Hard to read what it says. Anyway, traditions. And then we've got another little sticker with a star on it. Peace, love, and joy. That goes with everybody. I don't care religion or no religion. 
and some cute little Christmas balls. Christmas ornaments. And then we've got, once again, this really beautiful, shiny little leaf grouping that's in gold. I can't even tell you, you can't appreciate on YouTube, but in, in life they're really beautiful in reality. And then we've got another little star going here. I think I use gold. Kind of hard to tell. Is it hard to tell for everybody? Gold from silver on YouTube? So these are the dark gold dots. And I'm going to use a real big one, a medium one, and a small one and put it right on the edge of the uh, Christmas ornaments. And then I've got some more that look like they go there, but I'm using the white ones. They are just beautiful. They have iridescent glitter in them, and they're not a solid white. They're just kind of um, opalescent. Oh, geez, they're beautiful. They're just really gorgeous. So, um, you know, I get... You know, these kits always bring out this in me. It's like, oh, wow, that's like my favorite thing ever. And then another, the next kit comes along, and it's like, oh, wow, that's my favorite thing ever. And so, and look at these cute little stars that go up here. If you get three stars, that mean you're on Santa's good list? I think so. And then we've got a little sticker that says, all is bright and I just I just um, put a little bit of anti-static powder on it so that it would not stick to the picture underneath and then we've got these little pine cones this one's silver going under and the small one is going on top so I think that this layout is really beautiful. You know, the only thing that I might do in retrospect, I said I wasn't going to go rogue, but I might bring out, I haven't done it yet, but I might bring out my white spray, glossy spray, and just do some tapping along the edge for some a little white accent along the edge of the gray. I think it would stick out real nice and go well with this. Um, layout. Now I'm once again I'm using my stickles, my platinum stickles, and I am going to, I love to add a little dot onto the beginning of my journaling strips. I just, that's just a thing I've got. And um, I'm going to let those sit and dry. So thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.